If you're injured out in theatre, you're likely to be treated at QEH in Birmingham or Headley Court. But for those who pick up injuries in more everyday scenarios, there are 12 regional rehab units in the UK and a couple more in Germany. Laura Hawkins has been meeting those being treated at the larger of the BFG centres in Gütersloh. Over the next three weeks, these patients will push themselves to the limits. They all have non-combat injuries, which means they're downgraded. That may affect their job role or prevent them from deploying. So the main aim of this condensed rehab course is to help all patients get as fit as they can be and ultimately get upgraded again. So this is the first day of a three-week rehabilitation course. Tell us exactly what's happening here this morning. Well, we have 30 patients. We've got two groups. We've got spines and upper limbs and we've got lower legs. And the first thing we do on day one is the outcome measures. We've done figure of eight, we've done balance this morning, and as you can see now, we're doing the multi-stage fitness test. Private Francis Naduka injured his leg whilst playing football in October 2010, and this is his second time on the rehab course. He hopes that after these three weeks, he'll be fit enough to deploy with his squadron later this year. It's really important because he can deploy as a P3, but with limited duties. So with that, yeah, I've never been on tour and uh, I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's like an opportunity now I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to miss. Whilst playing netball, private Alex Robinson injured her knee. And now after a knee operation and plenty of physio at her local medical centre, she's been referred here to the rehab unit. I, th I think it should be good. It sounds like good fun and hopefully my knee should be a bit straighter after it. That's what I'm hoping for. Then obviously I'll be able to run afterwards. That's my aim. As well as intensive physio, the course includes daily lectures on everything from your posture to the correct running shoes to healthy eating. The education is really important and they have to understand that at the end of the day it's about them, it's not about us. Essentially, if they go away with the right attitude and the right plan, then they've got a much better chance of, of getting fixed in the long, long run. This is the second week for those at the Goodstow Rehab Centre and every patient now has a red folder with their own personal fitness plan. Francis behind me is stretching at the moment and he's been here now for a week and a half. How's it going so far? Hello, it's been going on pretty well and um, I'm getting a lot stronger and uh, keeping into my exercise programme and uh, everything is going well as planned. You know, it gets, if it gets too easy, they tend to, the instructors tend to change the program and make it a bit harder. And if you're struggling with anything, you find it too hard or it's aggravating the pain, they tend to make it easier. This rehab clinic serves 60% of BFG and due to the increase in operational tempo and higher demands on all personnel, the number of new referrals has dramatically increased. In the first five months of 2007, there were 148 new referrals, compared to 358 in 2011. That's a staggering 142% increase. It's manageable. We always manage. Um, however, they may need, just need to wait a little longer to, um, to gain access. Now at the end of their rehab course, how has it been for Alex and Francis? The good thing is that they've given me lots of stretches and exercises to do, so that when I go away, I go back to work and do PT, I know what I can and can't do, whereas before that, I wasn't sure whether I was allowed to do stuff or not. They're very approachable. Uh, they tend to work with your mind and try to push you, to make you believe you can do it. Whenever, whenever you think you cannot, it's a thing of mental strength, but yeah, it's, it's been great. The physios here don't promise to fix you in three weeks, but having a facility like this available in BFG is helping hundreds of soldiers get on the right road to fitness as quickly as possible. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Guttersloe.